Doctors and attorneys say hundreds of young people are living under inhumane conditions at a Texas border control station. They say about they found about 250 babies, children and teenagers without adequate food, water and sanitation. Some of the children said they've been detained there for weeks. Maria Villarreal has reported extensively from the border. Maria uh, joins us now. Um, Maria, where do they say this is happening? Okay, guys, so this is actually happening just outside of El Paso in a town called, uh, in a a town called Clint, uh, Texas. It's about 20 miles southeast of El Paso. You know, one researcher told us that more than a dozen children had the flu and some were in quarantine cells without adult supervision. There were young girls in this facility taking care of a sick two-year-old boy who was in filthy clothing without a diaper. The children said that they were fed uncooked, frozen food and had gone weeks without bathing. Now, immigration officials could not be reached for this story, but, you know, for months they have been saying that their system and the facilities are overwhelmed. Apprehensions in the El Paso area specifically have spiked more than 600 percent since last year. We've seen a lot of this in our reporting over the last year and a half. Now, in May, the Office of the Inspector General pointed to dangerous overcrowding at the El Paso facility, specifically showing migrants packed into holding cells. This is with children and adults. Now, according to current rules, children should only be held in Border Patrol for 72 hours before being transferred to Health and Human Services, which actually house migrant facilities. But, you know, we've spoken with immigration attorneys and, uh, and, and advocates as well. They are telling us right now they are holding these children for longer, but they are moving them to different detention facilities so they stay within the parameters of the Flores guidelines. Yeah, the more you hear about this story, the worse it gets. And my big concern, a lot of people are concerned that some of these kids will never be reunited with their families. Yeah. That's heartbreaking it, to think about that. It is a huge concern. I think that, that a lot of times we're hearing the federal government say that they can't find, exactly. you know, parents uh, still. Uh, some of them have been deported. So that, that factors into this. So uh, on that point, the, the president just gave his first interview to a Spanish language network, Telemundo, mm -hmm. and he was asked about child separations and his administration's zero tolerance policy. Take a look at that. When I became president, President Obama had a separation policy. I didn't have it. He had it. I brought the families together. 2,800 children were reunited with their parents in this last year after the zero tolerance Excuse me, policy. Because Separated I put them together. Of them. That's because I put them together. Under Obama, you had separation. Under a court order, I mean, right? No, I put them together. I'm the one that, that changed the plan. I inherited separation. Obama built the cages. I didn't build them. Obama built the cages. That's number one. Obama separated. I'm the one that did a presidential order bringing the parents together. All right, you've got President Trump there saying he inherited the separation policy and Obama built the cages. Maria, what's the reality? So here's the reality. Yes. During the Obama administration and even previous administrations, there were separations of family, right? The biggest difference here is zero tolerance. The president last year with his administration implemented zero tolerance policy, which basically means that if you cross the border illegally, you did not go through the right asylum channels, you were going to be um, held uh, in federal court and charged with a felony and you would absolutely be separated from your children. That was the absolute, that was the hugest difference. And we know that because we were in the courts, we saw the courts back up, we knew exactly what was happening. So for him to say, that he wasn't separating children and he actually was reuniting them. That's just that's just not the way things went down. Mm -hmm. There's always more to this story. Thank you very much, Maria. Thank Thanks, you. guys.